I got my first job at the age of 16, and ever since then, I've been gifting my mom an arrangement of flowers for her birthday. Then I went to college, and I would have to order them online and have them sent to her house. And when she would call me, I would ask her to send me a picture, and I would get so angry because it was nothing like what I ordered online. Has it ever happened to anybody else? Anyways, ever since then, I've been making my own flower arrangements, and I've learned a couple trips and tricks that I'm going to show you today. So let's begin. I was pleasantly surprised that my local grocery store actually had an array of flowers today. So I picked out a dozen roses that already had greenery in them and some other flowers complementing in color for a whimsical look. Today I'm going to be using this wet floral foam since I'm using a basket that doesn't hold water well. But if you don't have or can't find it, then you can create a grid using a tape on top of your vase and that will help hold the shape of your flower arrangement. So I'm cutting my foam to make sure it fits my basket. And then into a container filled with water, I'm gonna place a foam on top and it's gonna absorb the water on its own within seconds. There's also dry foam, so make sure you're getting the right one. If not, you're gonna be waiting for hours only to realize you bought the wrong one. I like using this foam because the flowers last about a week if not longer and every now and then I just check with my finger and water when it feels dry. To prep your flowers, make sure you remove all the leaves. Sometimes they fall into the water or touch the water. That can introduce bacteria, which is the reason why your flowers don't last as long as they should. I'm going to remove the petals I don't really like or the ones that seem a little bit damaged. And you can actually fold these outwards, but I want more of a natural look. So I'm just going to put them in between my palms and spin them just to open them up a little bit. Now for the fun part. Grab your foam and place it in the middle. Make sure to cut your stems at an angle. If you cut them flat, the stems will touch the bottom of the vase and the flower won't be able to absorb much water. Cutting at an angle will prevent the stems from sitting flat at the bottom and will increase the surface area from which the flowers can absorb water. So I usually start around the middle, placing a couple of flowers where I want the focal point to be. And then I add some greenery and a couple of small flowers. And I always make sure to step back just to make sure I'm going in the right direction. I enjoy using this foam because when I step back and I see something I don't like, I can always rearrange it without messing up or moving any of the other flowers. It's an easy and fun way to show someone you love them. Obviously, you can go out and buy ready-to-go arrangements, but I personally feel like it's more special knowing someone handpicked and put it together for you. So I hope this video helped and inspires you to liven up your own home. Once again, thanks for watching.